what's up fellas on my way to go pick up my wife from work video might be a little shaky because trying a new little setup on the dash um but so i <laughs> haven't done a video again for about a week because we had some problems with the truck first uh i was on my way down to oxnard started hearing the bumping sound ended up being the transmission mount and I swapped it out said I was gonna do a video to show you guys what was what how to fix it and everything I did even the little intro I'll put in a couple videos of the shit I was doing but uh, turns out it wasn't it what it ended up being was that some low life tried to steal my wheels off my truck and loosen the front bolts off of my front driver's side uh, wheel so it started knocking around a little bit it got loose so I lifted up the truck, uh, screwed everything down back to how it was, went to my local tire shop, shout out to Tire Pros or what's, something, like that, Tire Pros, I guess. Um, they took care of me, they put wheel locks all around on the truck, so we're good to go now. The truck now has a new uh, tranny mount, rear tranny mount, and everything was copacetic, todo como tiene que ser, and I was cruising down with my boy now uh, to the valley and from the valley over to Oxnard again to do some uh, some club stuff and sure enough we get to the valley we get to the city of Pacoima and it starts acting up stuff starts going wrong I get service traction control service stability control um, no check engine light but my RPMs going up and down like as if I have a six hole with a cam in it so I was worrying about it trying to figure out what it was and uh, long story short, I ended up leaving it at, at, at a brother's house, jumped in his car, used his car for the event we we're going to, came back, and went back the next day with my father-in-law, uh, which he's a diesel mechanic, shout out to him, he always does, he always helps me out with everything I need done, and as soon as we got back to, to my brother's house, or my club brother's house, um, we popped the hood open, and what is it? the fucking throttle body intake tube so the cold air intake i have on it the rubber boot slipped off so i was getting a forceful amount of air compared to fuel going in so the truck was choking itself out and shutting off so that was a problem it was a freaking hose clamp that literally broke and that was it so i sat there put the hose clamp back on or put it back on as good as i could got home had an extra one threw it on there and we're back on the road again so it's been two weekends actually three weekends in a row of crazy shit happening to this truck i like this truck so damn much but god it's such a headache sometimes but uh i just want to give you guys a quick update on it ended up taking the wife out to dinner so i'll show you guys a little clips of that and that's it i mean i think the next video i'm gonna do so I'm gonna try and uh, record kind of all my day-to-day -day things that I do is and share it to you guys and then I'll probably end up throwing in a, a riding video something on my bike I'm, you know what that's what we're gonna do my next video will be a breakdown of my Dyna my 2020 uh, 2000 FXD uh, super glide it's new to me uh, well not new to me because I've had it for a little over a year but it's a great bike um, it's very built very well taken care of um, I've done a lot to it over the year over the year and a half I've had it and um, it'll be a fun one so I'll show you guys what I've done to it what I plan on doing to it and I'll take you guys on a little cool cruise on it so with that said that's it for this one you already know catch you guys on the next see you later what's up fellas um, so check this out today is going to be a little bit of a different video just going to go out have some dinner with the wife uh going to try this place called don gus out here in uh lancaster let's see how it is um hear nothing but good stuff about it so let's see if it does good for both of us Ooh. 